A Pennsylvania family had to choose whether the murderer of a loved one should live or die. In America, that decision is usually up to a jury, but Anna Werner reports this case was heard under Islamic law. Jennifer Brown moved to Qatar to teach pre-kindergarten in September of 2012. Two months later, she was dead. Authorities said she'd been murdered in her apartment by a security guard who worked in her building. Trisha Snisky and Heather Shapiro are Jennifer's sisters. Two years later, and it's still really hard to imagine that th this did happen. The guard reportedly confessed, but the trial was continually delayed. Mm -hmm. Then just a few weeks ago came a development they never expected. A Qatari judge hearing the case asked them to decide what punishment the man should face if convicted. I was shocked, and I didn't even consider that they would take the family's wishes into consideration like that. One option they were given was a reduced sentence for the alleged killer in exchange for blood money of $56,000. It is very insulting that they would even think that we would consider that after what he's taken from us. The next question was harder to answer. Did they want him to get the death penalty? So you potentially have the power to spare this man's life or to put him to death. What is that like? It's difficult. It's a real hard decision. Or we... For either of you, was there a feeling at all, a moment of wanting revenge? I mean, he killed your sister. Yes. In the beginning, I, I felt like that. But once you calm down and try to think rationally, we don't want to be anything like him. The family asked for a sentence of life in prison. Life's sacred to us. We don't want to take another life because he did. And we just don't feel it's right. Her sisters believe the choice they made would have been Jennifer's too. I think that Jenny was so forgiving and loving towards everybody that she, she thinks that we did the right thing. This is, this is what she, she would have wanted. Now, a U.S. Embassy official in Qatar told me on background they believe the family will have a significant impact on the judge's sentence, Scott. Anna, thank you. Fascinating story.